Hey guys, this is the new reviewer Christmas collaboration of 2015. Now, mm -hmm. there's been a lot of guys who started this year. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a few ladies as well. Yes, we do. Now, we have a few special guests in the house, including the Miss Attention, who wants it everything. Yeah, yeah. So, what are you going to be wearing for this holiday season? So, for me, I'm going to be wearing Swarovski Aura. Uh, it's great for New Year's Eve as well, for all ages. And it has pink pepper, lychee, and rose in it. Now, what I'm going to be wearing... Unfortunately, I will be working quite a bit, but my work scent is actually going to be Dunhill's Desire. It does have a bit of a festive vibe with the color there, mm -hmm. but it does have a red apple note, some vanilla. I believe it has some, uh, some other spices like cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Definitely has some woods in the dry down. Very sweet fragrance. And what I'm going to be wearing for Christmas Day and New Year's Day, yeah. those are the only two days I'm not working. <laughs> I love that one, by the way. Is actually going to be Sushi Imperial. It's got a nice, actually, more so of a beautiful warm apple pie yeah. kind of vibe with some vanilla ice cream, some cinnamon, some star anise, just an amazing fragrance, one of my very favorites that, I start, uh, that I've ever come across. Now everybody's channel link will be down in the description below. I beg you, please show them some love and some support by subscribing to them. Mm -hmm. We wish you a happy holiday, a very Merry Christmas, and a wonderful New Year. Please be safe, keep smelling well, and Oh, I love you. In the new year, guys. <laughs> we'll see you later. Take care, and let's get this show started right now. Bye, everyone. Asia, thank you, Chad, for allowing me to be part of this collaboration video. My favorite scent for the holiday seasons are starting with uh, Volutus EDP by uh, Deep Teak. This is an emery, honey, tobacco note, slightly sweetened by those floral notes. Beautiful. Next is Vetiver Oriental by Serge Lutin. This is dark chocolate and bitter patchouli, slightly sweetened by the ambry core captivating scent. Next is um, Tom Ford Black Orchid. This is an intoxicating scent. This is dark chocolate patchouli incense, slightly sweetened by the black currant note here. Beautiful. And then last is um, Creed Bois de Portugal. This is an elegant, timeless scent. Cedarwood, sandalwood, and vetiver, well blended, masterpiece. Again, thank you for watching. Happy holidays to everybody, and then keep on smelling good. And thank you, Chad. Hi guys, Peter here from Fragrance View. Thanks so much to Chad for letting me be a part of this. I think it's a really great idea. This Christmas, I'm going to be wearing two fragrances. The first is Maison Francis Cœur de Jean Satin Mood. It's an oud based fragrance with vanilla and rose. It's a very thick very deep, very rich, it smells special and it's perfect for the colder months. The second is by Imaginary Authors and it's called Cape Heartache. This is perfect fragrance for Christmas, it opens up with a juicy strawberry, it's got pine resins in there and fir tree with a little bit of vanilla in the dry down. It's very cosy, it's very warm and it just smells happy to me. So I can't wait to wear this on Christmas guys. Happy holidays. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing well. My scent of the day is Hair Rod by Parfums de Marley. Happy holidays. First of all, let me thank Chad for giving me the opportunity to talk about a few fragrances I'd like to talk, I'd like to wear in the next few months while it's um, chilly here in Texas. And I'll just go through them really quickly. Only have 90 seconds. Um, number one, 21 by Costume National. Warm, spicy, milky fragrance with a little bit of staying power, some citruses, uh, amber, labdanum, caraway, oak, moss. Perfect for cooler days, just really good stuff. Number two, uh, Bellamy by Hermes. Uh, woody, dark, aromatic leather with a little bit of splash of citrus on top. Um, the person personification of your grandfather in an oak paneled library smoking a pipe with a scent of lingering lemon wood polish in the background. Just really good stuff. And last but not least, you may not even recognize the bottle. It doesn't get much play here on uh, the fragrance community, but this is Coriolan by Guerlain. Um, woody, spicy, earthy fragrance. Um, he made it in the early 90s, I think. Didn't really take off. Citrusy, woody, nice, finely balanced. Great for cold days. I'm at 85 seconds already. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. This review today is about my Christmas Day scent. Well, normally I wait till Christmas morning and then open up my presents and then 
when I see what's in them then that will decide what I'm wearing for that day and it's by the company called Bath House and it's patchouli and black pepper a nice neat little bottle as you can see very interesting it smells really nice no, I, I love the smell of it or velvety smell um, the, what's in it is got uh, sensual and spicy capturing the mysteries of the Orient a rich exotic ing ingredients are given in a modern interpretation Blending of patchouli, black pepper and mandarin with a vanilla and warm velvet tones of amber and vetiver. Which I think this is incredible. Nobody's even probably know what this ass is. If you don't live in the United Kingdom, you will know what this is. Um, or maybe there are some in the States and Canada and places like that. But I, I'm, I'm in England now. I'm from the United Kingdom. I live in the United Kingdom. I live in London. And um, today I found this in uh, Leon C and by a company called Bath House and it's a lovely lovely scent this will be my Christmas Day scent uh, I would like to a big shout out to Chad thank you very much for including me in this Christmas review thing I wish you all the best and I wish you all all my reviewers and everyone watching this a very lovely Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year of course hey everyone um, for the holidays I am going to be wearing the classic fragrance by Guerlain Shalimar. And um, there's a reason I'm going to be wearing this fragrance for the holidays. Um, my grandmother just passed away and this was her favorite fragrance. And it's a beautiful fragrance. It's lovely and haunting and I think it can be very unisex. So there you go. Shalimar by Guerlain. Hey Chad, Matt here. Thank you very much for adding me into your collaboration video. Here are a few of the scents which I plan on wearing in the winter time. Halston Z14, a classic fragrance in you know the fragrance community. Everyone is bound to have a bottle of this and it smells great. Was my Christmas fragrance last year, so it's definitely on my list this year as well. The Dreamer by Versace, a very unique fragrance, floral with that tobacco. Great, just a great fragrance. Uh, I always wear this in cold weather anyway. I never wear it in hot weather. It seems to be, doesn't really work. And the last one that I have is, you know, Armani Code. I, I really love Armani Code. Everyone does. I absolutely love it. So that is my list, Chad. I hope you've enjoyed it, mate. Uh, and again, just thank you very much for adding me into your collaboration. Take care now, mate. See ya. Hey, you guys. It's Gnosis Frags, a.k.a. Adrian. And I just want to do a quick update on... What I'd probably be wearing for the Christmas holidays. I'm going to go way left field and shock you guys. Um, and I've been trying to find the right occasion to wear this particular fragrance. So, I figured I'm going to go for the Christmas holidays. And it's coming from the house of Hermes. I'm going to try to say this name correctly. It is All Day Mandarin Ombre, the ODC version. Top note, Mandarin. Mid note, Passion Fruit. Base note, Amber. So, this is all I'm going to be wearing for the holidays. Let me know what you guys think and what you'll be wearing. You guys have a good one. Happy holidays. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Rob DJ Bill, and my holiday fragrance for 2015 is Oud Kadim by. Januid Jamshed. I know I probably ruined the pronunciation of the fragrance and the maker, but it's a really great fragrance. It's a rose-based fragrance with a little bit of spice and oud, uh, just right for this cold weather, just right for the holiday season, in my opinion. It's almost like a warm sweater. I know not every guy's into the rose-based fragrances, but if it's something that's up your alley, I say check it out. All right? Oud Quadim. DJ Bill, peace. So many great fragrances to try this Christmas. Why not try Bejeweled by Vrio Wang? Oh, I love this one. Passion fruit, champagne, sweet. Oh, lots of kisses under the mistletoe with that one. I really like Fairy Eau de Toilette by Van Cleef and Arpels. A little bit like Chanel Chance. And this frosted white kind of sweet baby powder, Lolita Limpica's Lot Blanc. Come on, Mark Jacobs Decadence, very sexy. And also Vivian Westwood Boudoir, 
really aromatic, spicy, seductive. And every Christmas, every single year, White Diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor. Gorgeous. A classic. Smooches. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Hey guys, fragrances that come to mind that I will probably be reaching for this holiday season would be Unum's Opus 1144, um, Mikalef's Oswald Exclusive, the number one, Inica's Field Notes from Paris, Histoire de Parfum, 1725 Casanova, and Jardin d'Ecrivain Marlowe. I think that's it. So happy holidays. Bye. What's going on, everybody? Joe here today. First of all, shout out to all the new reviewers and thank you to my bro, Chad, for putting this together. As you kind of already see, this is my designer pick for the winter, for the holiday, for everything this season. CH Man from Carolina Herrera as my designer pick. For the niche side of things, I have by Killian's Back to Black. I usually save this for special occasions, but this season, this year, I'm really liking this. And it's just great stuff, tobacco and honey. CH Man was like a sweet leather. So as you see, I have my sweet fix. And what better way to end everything out than on the indie side of everything? Bittersweet Symphony. So you had Leather Sweet, then you had Tobacco Sweet, and now this is Uden Sweet from the House of Matriarch Bittersweet Symphony. Nice disco ball bottle. It's a really great fragrance. All of these you need to check out. Anything that the people on this video say you need to check out, please support the YouTube reviewers. Thank you all for watching. Thank you again to all of the people involved. My name's Joe. I'll see you all later. Hey guys, this is Evan with Modern Sense. Um, first off, thank you very much, Chad, for having me in this video. And let's go ahead and quickly get started. So the holidays is my absolute favorite time to wear fragrances. And this year, um, four fragrances come to mind um, when I think about what I'm going to wear. The first one is Endymion by Penhaligans. This one I plan on wearing um, around Thanksgiving time. It's just a wonderful scent, good cold weather scent. Um, one that makes me happy. Uh, I'm thankful to have it. The next one is uh, Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf, one of my absolute all-time favorite fragrances. I wore it last year on Christmas Eve, and um, it have, I have good memories associated with it. I plan on wearing it this year, too. Next is New York Oud by Bond Number no. 9. I wore this one on Christmas Day last year. I also um, I, I got this fragrance last year around Christmas time, so um, just a lot of good memories associated with it. Whenever I smell it, it brings back really good memories, so I'm going to wear it again this year. And lastly, um, I'm going to be wearing Field Notes from Paris by Anique. This is a fragrance I just got recently, and I absolutely love it, and I plan on wearing it and associating new memories with it for this year. So those are the fragrances I'm going to be wearing um, most of the time during these holidays. Um, thank you very much Chad again, and happy holidays everyone. Happy holidays, fragrance community. This is Judd. I want to thank Chad for putting together this collaboration video for our top picks for fragrances in the holiday season of 2015. Getting right into my picks, my first one is Bond Number no. 9 Sense of Peace. That's a fruity pineapple with a slight smoky vibe to it with great performance and excellent versatility. Dress it up, dress it down. This one can work in any occasion throughout the holiday months. And my Christmas Day and Christmas Eve pick is Carl Lagerfeld's Capsule Series. This one's called Floriental. Slightly sweet and a little powdery. This one is beautiful. It cuts through the cold and I can see you wearing this dressed up for any holiday that you have with your family. This one is very classy scent to me. Carl Lagerfeld's Capsule Series. This one's called Floriental. Looking forward to the other picks and fragrance community. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. See you next time. Hi everyone, Dave here, The Ordinary User. And these are the three bottles I'm gonna be rocking over the holidays. Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf, very sweet spicy cinnamon with a touch of uh, leather in the background. Pure Havan by Thierry Mugle, a tobacco based fragrance with a touch of honey. And last but not least we have Terre Hermes, a woody based fragrance with a strong presence of uh, bitter orange. By the way, all of these have excellent longevity and projections. Thank you guys. Happy holidays. Bye -bye. Hello YouTube. Happy holidays. Thanks to my man Chad 
for allowing me to collaborate with all these great reviewers. All right, for this holiday season, what I will be rocking or wearing the most most of this this winter will be this right here, Hannah Moray H I M Hem, but it's the Auto Perfume Edition. Last a little longer, the bottle will last a little longer. Listen, you got pepper, cardamine, bergamot, mandarin orange, cinnamon, tonka bean, da 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 da, you name it. I want to thank I want to thank you again, Chad, for allowing me to collaborate. Happy holidays to all you reviewers, man. I want to thank you guys because you inspired me. Happy holidays to y'all. God bless. Hello everyone and Chad, thank you so much for including me in today's video. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Britney Spears Fantasy. This is a very creamy fruity scent because of the white chocolate and the cupcake and in my opinion this is a very feminine soft fragrance that is perfect for the winter. And the second fragrance I have with me today is the Escada, especially Escada Delicate Notes. And this is a straightforward rose scent and in my opinion Opinion, I find that this is the closest to the natural smell of the Rosa Damascena or the Damas Rose and in the Middle East we grow and harvest roses in the summer and we make jam rose jam to eat in the winter so this definitely reminds me of the winter although this could work well for the summer and the winter very natural rose scent very feminine so again Britney Spears Fantasy and Iskada, especially Iskada. Delicate. These are the two fragrances that I'll be wearing during the Christmas holiday season. Um, it's a winter season in this country, in England. Dolce & Gabbana the one. Great holiday fragrance, winter fragrance, smells so nice, the tobacco note. I, I really like tobacco notes in fragrances and this does it really well. It's, it smells the same as the Eau de Toilette version of Dolce & Gabbana the one, but a little stronger. Longevity 6 hours. Guys, it's a great buy. Great buy. I wouldn't pay more than £70 for it, okay? But it's a great buy. So this is my holiday fragrance. And another one I've been testing because I was reviewing it. And I got shed loads of compliments from women. Women were really impressed by that. You know, and they were, they were like almost begging me to know what that fragrance is. And that is 2015 release. Boss the scent. It'll make a great Christmas present as well considering it's a brand new release from Hugo Boss. Guys, this is great for the winter season. I can actually imagine people pulling it off during the summer as well. Great longevity, lasts about 10 hours and it's like you're wearing two different fragrances when you wear this one because the top note smells completely different to the base notes. Alright, um, but yeah, these are my two Christmas fragrances. Thank you for watching and thank you Chad for allowing me to be a part of this collaboration. Hope you're all well. See you later. Hey guys, I'm Rob from the Scent Gent blog and welcome to Christmas Down Under here in Perth in Western Australia. I'm into quite heavy spicy oriental fragrances so for you I've chosen Munigu by Nishan which I'm gonna wear a lot this holiday season. It's a really intensive, thick, dark, rich, beautiful oriental fragrance. So I'll just read out the notes on the bottle. We've got orange, cumin, nutmeg, geranium, liang yang, patchouli, frankincense, tobacco and amber. And this stuff is really beautiful. It's like a really heavy, dark, rich, thick fruit cake, full of spices and flowers. It's quite challenging. If you're into something light and fresh, this is not the fragrance for you. This is definitely ex something exotic. I hope you all have a happy holiday. And hello, Chad. Um, thank you for having me on A Gentleman's Journey. Happy Christmas, What's everyone. up, fragrance community? I'm the Average Cologne Guy. I hope you guys are having an awesome holiday season. I'm here today because Chad was nice enough to invite me to be a part of this great video. I'm just quickly going to share with you a couple of fragrances that I'm really enjoying this holiday season. And first up is going to be Carvin Ohm. Now this is a wonderful floral woodsy scent. has really nice lavender, sandalwood, cinnamon notes in there. This is discontinued at the moment, but you can find this for under $20 online. You can't go wrong with it. It's going to be Carvin Ohm. Next up is going to be a really nice peach tobacco scent. It's going to be Kissed by Slumber House. Now, this definitely is pricey, but if you're looking for a great tobacco scent, you can't go wrong with this one. Really nice peach note, really nice honey note that never gets too powdery. Excellent scent. It's going to be Kissed by Slumber House. 
and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your holiday. Oh, I'm Clippy from Clippy Loves Makeup. I am so thrilled to be able to be a part of this collaboration, showing what's going to be a part of my personal perfume wardrobe. So, these are my five picks for my wintertime fragrances. Alba Rock by Al Harriman. Dior Addict by Christian Dior. Samsara by Guerlain Paris. Reem Acra by Reem Acra. And Navy, which is a drugstore fave. I go for your more deep, ambery fragrances, so this is going to be my staple set over the winter. Thank you so much, Chad, for inviting me to do this. I can't wait to see what everybody else picked, and I will see all of you very, very soon. Hi, I am Eric from the Frag Reviews channel. Thank you, Chad, for allowing me to be part of this collaboration amongst new reviewers. What I'll be wearing late this fall through the holiday season is what you're looking at, and that is... Lubens Itasca. I would describe this fragrance as evocative. It's a mix of fizzy juniper berry, soft pine resin, incense, vetiver, and just a touch of smooth amber. The volume knob is tuned just right and the blending is masterful. What this evokes for me is Lewis and Clark's expedition through the forests of the West, and there's an encounter with American Indians. If you're interested in listening to the entire review on this, feel free to head on over to my channel and listen. Thanks again, Chad, for the opportunity. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Wasim here from Handsome Smiles. Fragrance I'm going to be wearing for this holiday period is a masterpiece from the House of Serge Latans. Fragrance is Shergi. Shergi, guys, you're going to get honey. Amber, pipe tobacco, hay and rose. Just a beautiful, very cozy, very warm, uh, very inviting and very sensual fragrance guys. Works absolutely incredible in this time of the year when it's quite cold and when you're around friends and family this is just a very inviting scent, very calming, very soothing. Just a beautiful scent guys, lasts all day, absolutely beautiful. One of my favourites for this time of the year, that is Shergi by Serge Latans. Anyways guys, I hope you have a brilliant time with your friends and family. Happy holidays. See you later. Namaste Chad. Hey everyone, this is Cy Frag Boys Stewie. Chad, thanks a lot for asking me to be a part of this collaboration. This means an awful lot to me. I actually have four colognes that I'm really looking forward to wearing during the dead of winter. The first of which is from the house of Zerjoff. It's known as More Than Words. This is a dark, floral, chocolatey fragrance. It's very yummy. <laughs> the second one that I'm looking forward to wearing is from the house of Hermes, from the Hermesens collection. This is known as Ambre Narguile. This is one of the finest amber-based fragrances that I've ever put my nose on. Wonderful composition. The third one is from the house of Serge Luton. This is known as Chergui. I don't really have to start talking about this fragrance. I know how popular this is. So I'll quickly move on to the fourth one, which is from the house of Christian Dior from their La Collection Privé line. This is Oud Espahan. This is just a wonderful rose oud combo. This is like a beast. It's a mighty beast. I don't even know how long it's going to take for me to use up this whole bottle. I mean, I think whole of Boise can use this bottle and still there will be like 10 or 15 mil left over. Man, this thing's a potent beast. Anyway, thanks a lot for having me once again. Um, everybody who's watching this, happy holidays. Have a good time. This is Cyfrag Boy Stewie signing off. On to the next person. Hi, everyone. My name is Steven, and I have a YouTube channel called Red Lessons. Chad, thank you very much for having me be a part of this collaboration. But I also want to say thank you to all the participants of the video, as well as those tuning in to watch the video. Now, I would like to take a moment to share with you guys the fragrances that I absolutely cannot wait to wear this holiday season. There's a couple of them. The first one is by Burberry, and it's called London. I love this scent because it's very evocative of the fall and winter. It has pine, it has cinnamon, it has some other spices and resins thrown into the mix, certainly very evocative of the holiday season. And the other fragrance that I can't wait to wear is by Imaginary Authors and it's called Cape Heartache. Now this fragrance has Douglas fir, pine resin, vanilla, and a little bit of strawberry to give it that unique edge. 
very inviting and also very cozy. So these are the two fragrances that I absolutely cannot wait to wear. Once again, Chad, thank you for so much for having me be a part of this collaboration. And I just want to wish everyone happy holidays. Take care.